to be able to get around areas like the uh, rear, um, rear bumper area where the license plate frames go. I can use this to go around that area, which is usually a nice, difficult area because the DA is too big and it's pad too big. You can get in there like you want to. You can get in here like this if you feel good. See where's my spinner brush that I bought to do a poetry with. Like I said, I got my steamer right here. I did not want to get my spinner brush and use this to go up on me. Do a poetry with. Get a whole lot of pass there. Carpet cleaning machine combination wet back with this ozone machine with my brand new steamer right there. I have a lot of people tell me, EJ, I'm gonna be like you. Well, first of all, to be like me, you have to be willing to invest your money in yourself. I hear a lot of people say they want to be like me, but when they come down to investing their money, they want to invest their money. I invest my money in tape, Mexican tape, to tape off moldings and pillars. I got me some special blend. Um, swirl removal. And I mix it with a couple other things and turn it into a paint enhancement. I got my alcopressor right here. Yeah, for those that want to be like me, you have to be willing to spend your money like EJ has spent this money. If not, back up wheels for my roll around chair right there. Yeah. Can wax just in case I need it. This is just the stuff that I got home, got at home. I got other stuff from my locker at work. Now, a person can't tell me I don't take my job, job serious. This is EJ, the automotive detailer, innovator. The day is February. 2024. Peace. I forgot the uh, display my attachments for my wet and dry back. I got one attachment that's designed for upholstery. 
This is how all this stuff is new. I find it very, very, very kind of hilarious and meaningless when someone say they want to be like you, Jay. Well, and when I watch them, the way they move and the way they do things, EJ know they can't be like him. I don't own a tool that I don't have, at least two of them, just in case one broke a break, brother. This is my locker at work. I got a locker in the men's bathroom. I got my extra. DA buffer, I got some pads. And as of right now, this is the newest buffer I got, Makita. I put this tape on here because my hands sweat a lot. And then a lot of times, compound was getting in my hands and I was leaving a print there, so I just put that tape there. I'm gonna get me another Makita buffer, a new one, real soon. And I'm gonna take this one home. I didn't have to so bring that, but it just makes my job easier. I got my two tripods right there. Another vacuum cleaner. Another roll around chair, a ladder. Yeah, if you want to be like EJ or Say you do, you gotta step the game up and get the equipment and the chemicals you need to do the job, peace. I find it very, very, very kind of hilarious and meaningless when someone say they wanna be like you, Jay. Well, and when I watch them, the way they move and the way they do things, EJ know they can't be like him. I don't own a tool that I don't have, at least two of them, just in case one broke a break, brother. This is my locker at work. I got a locker in the men's bathroom. I got my extra DA buffer. I got some pads. And as of right now, this is the newest buffer I got, Makita. I put this tape on here because my hands sweat a lot. And then a lot of times, compound was getting in my hands and I was leaving a print there, so I just put that tape there. I'm gonna get me another Makita buffer, a new one real soon. And I'm gonna take this one home. I didn't have to so bring that, but it just makes my job easier. I got my two tripods right there. Another vacuum cleaner. Another roll around chair, a ladder. Yeah, if you wanna be like EJ or say you do, you gotta step the game up and get the equipment and the chemicals you need to do the job, peace. I forgot to uh, display my attachments for my wedding drop back. I got one attachment that's designed for upholstery inside of vehicles. I got another one right here. That's the
sounder. Cordless palm sounder. DA, USDA. Old school DA. Brand new steamer. Over football for. guy to be able to get around areas like the uh, rear um, rear bumper area where the license plate frames go. I could use this to go around that area which is usually a difficult area because the GA is too big and it's packed too big. You can't get in there like you want to. You can get in here like this would be a good one. See where's my spinner brush that I bought to do a post with. Like I said, I got my steamer right here. This carpet cleaning machine combination wet back with this ozone machine with my brand new steamer right there. I have a lot of people tell me, EJ, I want to be like you. Well, first of all, to be like me. You have to be willing to invest your money in yourself. I hear a lot of people say they want to be like me, but when they come out investing their money, they want to invest their money. I invest my money in tape, Mexican tape, to tape off moldings and pillars. I got me some special blend. Um, swirl removal. And I mix it with a couple other things. Turn it into a pain enhancement. I got my alcopressor right here. Yeah, for those that want to be like me, you have to be willing to spend your money like EJ has spent his money. If not, back up wheels for my road around chair right there. Can yeah. wax just in case I need it. This is just the stuff that I got home, got at home. I got other stuff from my pocket at work. Now, a person can't tell me I don't take my job, job serious. This is EJ, the automotive. Detailer and everybody The day is February the first, 2024. Peace. I forgot to uh, display my attachments for my wedding drive back. I got one.
this, all this stuff is new. A lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, it's a lot of people out in the world could say they're about the business. But when it comes down to actually proving that you're about the business, they can't prove they're about the business. If I say I'm about the business, I'm about the business. And the business I'm speaking of is automotive detailing innovator. I bought my first car in 1979, which was a car I bought for myself. 1980 is when I started working for a dealership in my hometown of Mobile, Alabama. And from Mobile, Alabama, I went to the state of Georgia. I was in the state of Georgia 12 years. I perform automotive detailing at dealerships, salons, and when I wasn't doing it for a dealership, I did mobile. I got hooked up with this lawyer that was located, well, his office was located downtown on land on Peachtree Street, and this lawyer knew a lot of women that worked for Clark Atlanta Spelman college, Morris Brown, and Morehouse. He turned me on to these, his clients, and I started performing automotive detailing for them. 1994, I came out in the, into Seattle, Washington, and I got back, or I picked up where I left off in Georgia, performing automotive detailing. June of 1995, I went self-employed. I ran my own, I ran and operated my own automotive detail shop called EJ's Automotive Detailing for seven years in Birmingham, Washington. Birmingham, Washington is the next city from SeaTac, and SeaTac is where the Seattle Tacoma Airport is located. Now I'm working at a high-end dealership in downtown Seattle called BMW Seattle. As of right now, when I when my uh, 40 hours a week, Thursday through Monday, schedule ends. I've had the opportunity to be able to work at a high-end dealership. No more Honda, no more Toyota, no more Nissan, no more Chevys. I'm talking about BMW. Nothing against the cars that I just spoke of, but it's a proven fact. The most the more a person spend on a car, the more they try their best to take care of their car because a car is up in their best man. And when you start spending 60K plus on a car, you definitely want to take care of that investment. 
This is EJ, the automotive detailing. And I just want to give y'all that little bitty piece of history of myself. And I'm buying all the things you see me showing, but right along with all the items you don't see me with that I own, get myself ready to open another detail shop or go mobile. Or once I get a house that has a garage, do some side detailing. The possibilities on what I could do is it's kind of like never ending. If God is willing and allow me with my help of strength, I could do about as much as I could possibly want to do or as much as my body allowed me to do in the automotive detailing trade. Oh, I need to show you y'all my YouTube channel right quick. Here we go, right there. That's my YouTube channel right there. This here is some of my reconditioning work that I've done on vehicles in the past. These are vehicles that I once owned. Some of the vehicles I once owned that I actually did my own reconditioning from priming to sanding to engine work get ready the day's wait and I have to be to work I'm headed out to detail to downtown Seattle BMW Sierra I'll leave the house about another hour this is DJ signing the off and happy new year Peace. <laughs> Greetings. This is EJ, the automotive detailing innovator. And since I've been in Washington State 29 years, I have did numerous um, sanding um vehicles sanding paint off vehicles using a palm sander with sandpaper using my buffer with a sandpaper disc on it and i've also used a sanding brick during the whole time i've done these vehicles if i had to guess how many i've done I would say I've done seven vehicles that I sand the paint off for customers and then I primed them. Not one time did I think about buying myself a sandblaster. I'm familiar with sandblaster because when I worked at the shipyard in my hometown of Mobile, Alabama, I was, I was a sandblaster. I was a laborer, which had me keeping the sand pot filled with sand and the sand bags weighed 100 pounds apiece. I went from being a laborer, keeping the sand pot filled with sand, wadded, sandblaster, blaster paint off of tugboats. I was blasted to get it pottery because the tugboat metal had turned rusty from sitting in the water. Um, and recently, within the last month, I was strolling through Amazon and I saw a sandblaster kit. And I was like, wow, man. All them years, 
that you being in Washington State and you saying all vehicles paint off and primed it, primed the vehicles after you saying the paint off. Not one time did you think about buying yourself a sandblaster. But I ordered this sandblaster last week and it came and I got it. Um, I don't know what my first customer to call might be that might need to be sandblasted and primed, but I know for a fact I'm going to sandblast the paint out for my two, uh, my 1987 Psalm 900 Turbo, and I'm going to flat black it. I flat black the rims on my Saab 1987 uh, Turbo two-door coupe, and I liked it the way the rims looked it. Uh, I'm talking about the factory mag wheels that came on the Saab 900 um, 1987, uh, and, I, and I black blacked it because I had some curve marks, and I didn't want to spend money to get the rim fixed, so I uh, cleaned the rims real good with acid and degreaser, and after it, I uh, spray painted them. And the black, black looked good on the rim, and it actually covered up the uh, curve marks that I had put on the rims. Uh, and that, I said at that time, eventually i get around to sand, not sandblasting, but black, black in my saw. Um, the reason why it would be easier for me to do my saw because the hood uh, around the area where the turbo was at, all uh, clear coat been peeling off for the last few years. The top is uh, faded to a point I can't buff it back out. And same thing about the trunk. So my best course of action would be to sandblast what paint's still on it and on my saw and then turn around and uh, do a flat black color. Maybe I get a chance to do it this spring. I gotta find a location to be able to do it without making a major mess. I got an air compressor and this uh, sandblaster kit came with a gun, a sandblasting line, and if I'm not mistaken, it said it holds up to 50, 50 pounds of sand. Now, boys, this holds and look kind of cheesy, so I might end up replacing that hose with um, better hoses. I could try, like, parts, uh, automotive parts places, or I could even try a place like Home Depot or Ace, and they probably carry this line. That is this rubber line. It's as flimsy looking as uh, it looked, as it appeared to be. I just got this yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to open it up and actually check the line. I'm just going by what I see on the box. Okay, it said it includes Harper, Aluminum blast gun and material hose. Use whip and air compressor to remove rust, paint, graffiti, corrosion, and scales. Compatible with any abrasive, I think that's silicone or silica. Sand, sand steel, grit, glass, beads, and pe pecan shells. Gravity feed for constant flow on material. Gravity B, that's the line, what they call. So the first car I get a chance to do, even if it's not my Saab 900 Turbo, or if I don't do a whole car, if I just happen to do like a section or a part, I will give y'all um, a demonstration. This is EJ, the automotive detailing innovator, signing out. Peace.
out with the old, in with the new. When I first started buffing cards out in 1979, I got my 21 millimeter throw swirl killer, my brand new bat, um, mm, dual action. Yeah, my brand new dual action buffer by Adams. I've had it for about a month, haven't used it yet. But they labeled this the Swirl Killer 21 millimeter long throw polisher. Can't wait to use it. Peace. They come out the paint. Out the paint. Out the paint. Out the Because you know, we didn't watch it, we bumped it the way it was. Yeah, so you get a lot of particles coming out into the wool pad when you. Okay, I've done my first cut with the high speed uh, buffer using heavy cream and my wool pad using Makita buffer. I've done my second step using a DA cutting pad using my new buffer. I'm gonna show a display of uh, what new buffer I'm talking about. 
This is my first time using this new bump. I think I've had it maybe six weeks, less than two months. And this is my first time using it. I had opportunity to use it several other times, but I decided to wait until I was doing like a customer or an employee side job before I use it. And the opportunity stepped forward for me to do it. I think you're doing good. I'm about to use it, get used to using it. But for us, what I'm talking about, I got this with the DA, this machine. I got my high speed Makita wool pad. Let me see if I can find the actual name of this buffer. Okay, here we go right here. It's called Operator. Okay, that's Operator Manual. It's a dual action polisher. That's what I bought. And that's what I use for the second step. Dual action polisher. In other words, it uh, has two heads, one rope, one uh, vibrating in one direction, and the other one vibrating in another direction. It's supposed to help with the uh, help remove the sw swirls out of paint, regardless if it's from above job or too many regular wash jobs. This machine here is supposed to be the ticket to take out the swirls. I'm going to find out pieces. 